If you've been using Google Drive for a while, you may find you have a lot of different files, and that can make it hard to find what you're looking for. Fortunately, Drive has a lot of features built in to help you find the files you need and keep your files organized. For example, if you're looking for a particular file, you can use the search bar at the top. Just click the bar, type what you're looking for, and press Enter. If you think you've found the file you need, but you're not quite sure, you can use the Preview option to just give it a quick glance without actually opening it. To do this, select the file, then click the Preview button near the upper right. From here, you can choose to open the file for editing, or click the arrow on the left to get back to your drive. Sorting is another useful feature. For example, you can sort your files alphabetically from A to Z, or from Z to A, or by when they were last modified. This can be really helpful when looking for a file you edited last week or last year. Filters are similar to the search option, but they're a little more broad and can help to narrow down your files if you're not quite sure what you're looking for. To use a filter, click the small arrow on the right in the search box. Then use the drop down menu to select what you're looking for. In this example, I'm just looking for spreadsheets that I created. Then go ahead and click Search. And there we go. If you have a lot of files on your Google Drive, folders are probably the best way to keep related files together. To create a new folder, select the New button. Then click Folder. Type a name for your new folder. Then press Enter or click the Create button. Your new folder will be created. To add a file to a folder, simply click and drag. You can then double click to open a folder. And here's the file that we added. Let's go back to Drive and try adding multiple files to a folder at once. There are a few different ways to do this. For example, you can click and drag to select multiple files. Another method is to press and hold the Control key on your keyboard, or the Command key if you're on a Mac computer, and then click the files you want to select. You can also use this method to deselect a file that you didn't mean to choose. If there's a file you no longer need on your drive, you can delete it. To delete a file, simply select it, then click the Remove button in the upper right. When you do this, the file will be moved to the trash. But for the file to be deleted permanently, you'll need to click the trash, select the drop down menu near the top, and then select Empty Trash. This will permanently delete any files or folders in the trash can, which can free up space in your Google Drive. OK, there's just one more thing we want to show you. If you want to see all of the options you have for a file, you can right click it. From here, you can preview the file, open it for editing, share it, or even download a version of the file to your computer. All right, those are the basics, and we hope these tips will help to keep your drive organized and make it easy to find the files you need. GCF Global, creating opportunities for a better life.